This week on our HVAC Overtime live stream, that's Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the guys and myself are going to be talking about different kinds of motors. And that got me thinking about a tech tip that I could give you guys before the show even starts. Let's say we have PSC motors, and let's say we have ECM motors, like true variable speed motors, like a GE 2.3. Well, there's a big difference in what happens when you have high static on those motors. It's kind of interesting because they go in two different directions as far as energy consumption. If you put high static on a PSC motor, it's going to do less work. It's going to rotate less because it has that high static pressing against it. You're going to get less airflow and it's going to consume less current. It's actually going to consume less than if it were moving at full speed, even though it's Perceived as doing more work, it's actually not doing more work. It's going slower because it has a higher static pressure. On the other hand, an ECM blower motor is going to try to achieve the CFM that it has been set up for. And what happens is it actually consumes more electricity trying to attain that CFM up against that static pressure. So it's interesting. One of them, the ECM, uses more electricity to achieve the CFM it's required to get at a static pressure that's high, as opposed to a PSC motor, which will just not make it. It will slow down, because think of them as one is dumb and one is smart, even though that's not quite true, because a PSC motor or an ECM motor is just programmed to do a certain thing. But a PSC motor will suffer a lot more as far as airflow whenever you have a high static pressure. Now, one of the problems is if you have high static pressure on an ECM motor, it's really gonna struggle. You might see it hunting. You ever see a ECM motor surge and kind of fall back, surge and fall back. It's basically at the brink of the static pressure it can handle, and you might start having issues with failed modules and things like that. A lot of times the modules would fail because of condensation, because people would put them on duct systems they couldn't really handle, thinking that an ECM motor, especially a variable speed motor, will rise to the occasion. And sometimes they just can't. When they get up near one inch of static, it's hard for any motor to do the proper job. It would be for the best if you can augment your ductwork so that an ECM motor doesn't have to work so hard to achieve the CFM. And you can augment the ductwork so a PSC motor will be able to achieve the CFM. Hope you guys enjoyed this tech tip. Stay tuned to HVAC Overtime tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Check that out. We're going to discuss this a little bit more. And I'll see you on the next one.